Hey everybody, hi, it's Jackie again. And we are here with a lot of Ascended Masters. We're getting ready for our workshop, of course, on August 9th, which is going to be a lot of fun. I have done this workshop, I was figuring it out, that I have done this already six times around the United States. And I'm really, really happy to be getting it on webinar so that it can be shared with others. And today we have a lot of Ascended Masters and not just the seven that sit in the rays, but there are other Ascended Masters as well that are here today. Um, um, just kind of watching or gonna chime in. I'm not really sure, I never am. So <clears throat> let's, do our, let's do our getting centered. You know, I'm gonna use the Cosmic Thrust Oil, right? Um, which is an oil that will bring you into balance heaven and earth and give you an extra umpa at the solar plexus which is where so many of us blow out if you're going to blow out so you rub it together get it the esters moving moving into your energy field and now we cup our hands together and that's like a 15 second one more more meditation that just aligns you heaven and earth and a little more at that solar plexus so when we do that together we're connecting our energies even though I'm here now and you're going to be watching this hours from when I do this uh, little ditty but it won't matter because we are not bound by time and space and that's one of the major things that we like to teach in all of our workshops and classes and certainly with Ascended Masters, when you do the Ascended Masters class, you're going to feel the Masters even though we're all in different locations. We'll all still be connected in that vibration, in that energy. And they are really not bound by time and space because they can be in more than one place at one time. Actually, you can too, but you don't know that yet. But true. All right. So now we're going to use the spray to... Uh, just bring our aura in together, clear anything away, and we're ready to begin. So Mahay made me laugh my head off on today's word. <laughs> Are you ready? It is called, ready? Ah, uh, optimism. Optimism, optimism. You know, it's really important actually, optimism, because with what's going on in the world today, if you're focusing on the riots and the uh, secret police force, whatever they're called, I don't know what they're called, anyway, that militia, and the COVID-19, you're in negative energy if, if you bring it into your energy as, oh my God, this can't be happening. What are we doing? We're doomed, right? So that would be pessimism right? That would be bringing it in in a negative way. So we want you to be informed. We say, you know, look at the video, look at the video, because that's how I do it. Look at the YouTube and look at the, the stuff on the internet and then shut her down. And then with that information that you have, you put that into the light, which is optimism. The light is always optimistic because the light is going to give you the most positive resolution to whatever it is that you're dealing with. So we want to make sure that we're not pessimistic. We're not being pessimist. We're not angry. We're not saying, you know, I don't know why people wear masks or don't wear masks or whatever your opinion is on that. We aren't coming from that point of view of pointing the finger and having a judgment about any of this stuff. Maybe you think that we weren't led through this virus, this pandemic in a great way. Maybe. But focusing on that doesn't change us going through this pandemic. Do you see what I mean? Because if we focus on the negative, we weren't led, there's no leadership, you know, we're all on our own here kind of thoughts, then that's what it is. Then that's where we are. But if you make that information 
in your mind understood and then you're like and it's our job to bring that together like our word last week unify it's our job to unify humanity with what's going on on the planet in a light way but if we focus on all the negative stuff all the scary stuff and there's a lot of scary stuff that's happening then we're not putting the energy into changing that scary thing and that's why he's saying we must be optimistic i don't mean to be a pollyanna i'm certainly not a pollyanna but i am extremely optimistic because i know that i want to create the very most light scenario for my life i want my life to be light i want it to be light and all this goes on around you all of this turmoil all of this can go around you in the light and this is a special message for light workers to be proactive to do what you need to do but not coming from that place of anger or fear or of pointing fingers and judgment but to be coming at it from your heart which is always going to be optimistic so coming at it from your heart so that you radiate that love that positive outcome to the situation einstein said uh oh let me see if i can get it right a pro problem cannot be solved at the same vibration from which it was created we have to change the vibration of whatever it is that's scary or frightening or that we disagree with change the vibration so you have to be optimistic to know that you're creating a world that your existence is going to be in the light and that whatever your experience whatever it is of life is of the light so don't fall into the pessimistic dark aspect of what's going on in the world because i mean you get bombarded with negativity on the news holy smoke you know <laughs> it's really ridiculously uh insane insane and the planet is quite insane and it's our job as light workers to bring sanity to humanity and that's what our focus is going to be today as we do our meditation so we always use the gold light in these meditations and today we're going to bring that out so that we can remove the fear and the anger in humanity that they can look more hopeful and more optimistically at the world around them so you're going to bring in that light that yummy 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 gold sticky honey like light that comes into the top of your head and it just oozes and oodles all through you right and it just fills every cell every pore every molecule and you just saturate that make sure you get your brain so all the stress going on and be sure to get all into your sinuses and your throat get your head really well saturated right and then once that's saturated bring it on down into your throat and it's good to get your throat well saturated as well because you want that to be that expression of love in everything in all that you speak even when it's crummy even when whatever it is is crummy and then you bring it into your heart of course and you fill your heart and this light gives you stamina so this gives you the stuff you need to be that light worker to come from the heart and to spread that love and then you bring it into your solar plexus and this gives you that protection right because we have a lot of work to do and this is where our thoughts all connect so we're going to bring it in and bring it on down into our hips and into our tan tan right below your belly button and into your sacral where your tribal information is right we really want to change that tribal stuff let's do that soak that up with that light and then into your hips your knees 
Fill your legs and then your ankles and your feet. And you know, I always like it when it comes up my feet to come up my toes and I like to wiggle my toes because I like how it feels. And then I bring that into the earth and the mother says hello again. You're her honored guest, you're her light seed and she's so grateful that you are here. And she's here to help you on whatever the journey is that you've chosen, whatever experiences you've chosen. And we continue on down into the grid and we feel that grid. We feel the energy of it, the zizziness, the warmth. How would I describe that feeling? It's, it's alive, energizing connected. You feel that life force and that life force comes through you now as it does anyway, but you're increasing that force. And then mother wants to connect and bring an essence of herself back up, up the back of your spine. That is your yin. Back to the source, to the father and all the way back down again to the mother. And we just do that a few times, bringing it down, bringing it back up to the source, to the Father. We get our stamina and our strength and down where we get nurturing and compassion. And now when you feel yourself on that wonderful energy field of the earth, of the mother, of her life essence, we spread out to all of humanity our love. We spread out to our man, humanity that feeling of optimism, of knowing that it is going to be all right, that this is part of the process that humanity is going through at this time. And we know, we know it's going to be all right. Sometimes we go through the stuff. We, that's part of being in a human body and being on planet Earth, which is a particularly a tricky place to reside. But we're good with it because we chose to be here. So you bring that light back up again now. And let's just let a waterfall out your root aura and then your sacral aura and your solar plexus and give that a real hard, long dose and then out your heart and your throat and your third eye and your crown. And you are now this cocoon of light. You are this light seed in everything that you do, in all you do, say and think. You are a Johnny Light Side seed and you're bringing optimum thought, positive thought to humanity that we are creative to get out of the mess we're in, coming from a higher vibration than where we are right now. And that's our job, and that's what we're doing. So enjoy it, get into it, because you're here, you're doing it. And have fun this week. We did get rain, by the way. It was fun. We sat outside and got wet. <laughs> anyway. I love you all, and I hope to see you on August 9th for Ascended Masters. And I wear this little organite. It's like a butterfly. I like the butterfly. And it helps you with all of these crazy zizzy energies that are out. And, and you know, people ask me what can they do to calm the zizzy down, and that's one thing that you can do. I wear it all the time. So I love you all, and I will see you next week. And... Have a good week, okay? Bye-bye.